Katika bajeti ya mwaka huu Wizara ya Fedha ilipendekeza ushuru na otozwa vileo na sigara uongezwe kwa asilimia 15 kama njia ya kudhibiti matumizi ya bidhaa hizo. Lakini baadhi ya wadau katika sekta ya utengenezaji bidhaa wamesema hatua hiyo inapaniwa kuongeza mapato serikali na sio kumaliza uraibu wa vileo na sigara. Come from using it to depress consumption of bad goods and services and now to just a mechanism for government to increase uh, uh, taxation. It has effects on the manufacturing sector and it also has effects on health. Wanadai kuwa huenda vileo na sigara hushi kutoka nchi za nje vikapenya katika soko la humo nchini kwa ni bidhaa hizo zina tengenezo humo nchini zitakuwa gali mno. When you depress the formal alcohol markets through higher prices, what will happen is people will go out there, either smuggle products or will consume products that are unhealthy. Serikali imehimizwa kupambana na ufisadi na matumizi mabaya ya fedha na rasli mali kama njia moja ya kupunguza gharama ya serikali badala ya kuongezea wafanye biashara ushuru. For us this is an indication that we are still deepening tax on the same people instead of widening the tax bracket. Mungano wa watengenezaji bidhaa unaitaka serikali kudhibiti uzaji nje wa ngozi za mifugo kwani tayari kuna upungufu wa bidhaa hiyo humu nchini na wafugaji huenda wakaathirika hivi karibuni. For that specific category only 15% is currently are consumed locally 85% is exported. So even as we implement it we need to look at an incremental way to implement so that we don't end up uh, disadvantaging those who are making the the, the tanned hides and the crust hides within the country. Afisi ya mhasibu mkuu wa serikali imehimizwa kuharakisha ukaguzi wa madeni ya serikali ya kitaifa na zile za kaunti ili wafanyibiashara waweze kulipwa fedha zao kwa haraka.